Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. This is the final question number nine from the January 2023 International A Level at Excel, Pure Mathematics P4 exam. And this question here is about the new chapter in the P4 syllabus that started in a few years back. And this is about proof, proof by contradiction. So as a student was asked to prove for P is an element of the natural numbers and the natural numbers are the numbers that you count with starting with one. So one, two, three, four. It's like all the positive integers. It doesn't include zero. It's all the positive integers. Uh, the numbers that you naturally count with. If P cubed is a multiple of three, then P must be a multiple of three. Okay, so if P cubed is, if you have a natural number, if you have a number um, and you cube it and that answer is a multiple of three, then the original number that you cubed must also be a multiple of three. That's what we have to prove but we have to prove it by the, the, the uh, prove it by contradiction. The student starts to prove this by contradiction, which is if you're asked to do it, you suppose you have to do it. Although it's a bit of a strange way to prove something like this. Proof by contradiction is normally used for things which are not easy to prove in this kind of direct way. But anyway, the start of the stu student's proof is by contradiction is shown in the box below. So the student is assuming the opposite of this. That there exists a number p, that there is a number p, okay, and p is an element of the natural numbers, such that p cubed is a multiple of 3, and p is not a multiple of 3, okay, so that when you take the, the number p, which is not a multiple of 3, and you cube it, you end up with a multiple of 3. So that's what the student is assuming, which contradicts the, the statement. It's saying here that if you cube p and you end up with a multiple of 3, P must be a multiple of 3. So we're going to assume what kind of negates that statement. And we're going to start with that. So the students started, they thought, okay, let's take a number that's not a multiple of 3. So 3 times k plus 1, where k is an element of natural numbers. So basically, when you multiply k by 3, you get a multiple of 3. You add 1 to it. Of course, that's not a multiple of 3. That's 1 more than a multiple of 3. So they've taken this expression, which represents all the numbers all the numbers which are one more than a multiple of three. So this represents, for example, um, the number one, the number four, the number seven, the number 10, the number 13, the number 16. These are all one more than multiples of three. This is three times zero, three times one, three times two, three times three, three times four, three times five. It's all one more than the multiples of three. So that will cover all those numbers, 3k plus one. So we consider... Um, if we do p cubed, you got 3k plus 1 all cubed. All right, so they've cubed this bracket and they ended up with this expression. And you can see this expression. There's 3 as a common factor of all these terms here, except for that last one. So you have 3 times 9k cubed plus 9k squared plus 3k and then plus 1. So this is 3 times a multiple of 3 plus 1. Of course, this is not a multiple of 3 because it's 1 more than a multiple of 3. All right, so that's part of the proof. Now we've got to show the calculations and statements that are required to complete the proof. So this person has proved it for the numbers which are like one more than multiples of three. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to prove it for the numbers which are one, um, you can say two more than multiples of three if you want. I could use 3k minus one, I could use 3k plus two. As we're talking about natural numbers which are positive, I, th I, get, I, bet, I think it's best to use 3k plus two. All right, that will include all the numbers which are one more than the multiples of three. So for example, it'll include two and five and eight and 11. So this is two more than the multiples of three and 14 and 17. So the only numbers that I've missed out now are three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. So we've included all the numbers that are not multiples of three. If we now shows, we say let P equal 3k plus 2 where k is an element of the natural numbers okay so that means we're now we're now putting k such that it will end up proving about all these other numbers which are two more than the multiples of three so we can consider so just we can just go exactly what they've written but consider p cubed equals 3k plus 2 cubed now that's going to give me let's just expand that um, bit by bit so we have 3k plus 2 times now if we if we square that 3k plus 2 squared that's going to give me 9k squared 
plus I'm going to have 2 times 6k, that's 12k, plus, and that's going to give me 4, right? So this is going to give me, if I expand this, that's going to give me 27k cubed, plus 3 times 12, which is 36k squared, plus 12k. So this times this, this times this, this times that. Now 2 times 19 is, 2 times 9, sorry, is 18k squared, and 2 times 12k is plus 24k, and 2 times 4 is plus 8. Okay, so here we have 27k cubed, 36 plus 18, that's 54, plus 54k squared, 12 plus 24, that's plus 36k, and plus 8. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call this plus 9 minus 1. Okay, because 8 is the same as 9 minus 1. Why? Because I want to show things as multiples of 3 or not multiples of 3. That's a little trick you can use here to help you to show whether it's a multiple of 3 or not. Because this is the same as 8 is the same as 9 plus 1. But I can now see that all of these have a factor of 3 in them. So I can take out that factor of 3. That gives me 9k cubed plus 18k squared plus 12k plus 3. And then I got minus 1. So this shows that this is 1 less than a multiple of 3. So this is a multiple of 3. Minus 1 means this is not a multiple of 3. Okay, so you can say which is? Which is not a multiple of 3. Okay, so now we've proved for all the numbers which are not multiples of 3 that p cubed is also not a multiple of 3. So we have shown... We have shown for all values of P, okay, which are natural numbers, that when P is not a multiple of 3, then P cubed is not a multiple of 3 either. Okay, so we've just proved that, right? Which contradicts our assumption. Okay, so this contradicts our assumption. This contradicts our assumption. So therefore, the original statement is true. The original, original statement must be true. Must be true, which is, and the original statement is, that if P cubed is a multiple of 3, then P must be a multiple of 3. So, therefore, if P cubed is a multiple of of three, then P must also must be a multiple of three. Okay, so if okay P cubed is a multiple of three, then P must be a multiple of three. So that's that proof by contradiction here. Okay, we've completed the proof. All right, so you must show the other cases. And we've shown it for all cases, okay, all p, all values of p which are natural numbers, okay, that are not multiples of 3, okay, all right, that you end up with something which is not a multiple of 3. Which means the opposite is true, that if p cubed is a multiple of 3, then p must be a multiple of 3. That's proof by contradiction, okay, that's part A. Now for part B, okay, now for part B, it says hence, means using what we just proved that if a number is a is a, a cube number is a multiple of three then the original number must also be multiple of three that's what we just proved in part a so it says hence proved by contradiction that the cube root of three is an irrational number okay irrational okay so we have to prove by contradiction so what we're going to do first the first step in proving by contradiction is to assume the opposite so we'll say assume so we can make the assumption 
that the cube root of 3 is a rational number. Okay, we're assuming it's a rational number. Okay, and a rational number, what is the definition of a rational number? Okay, so first of all, we have to think about what that is. So a rational number is basically, and I'll write this down for us, a rational, a rational number is a number that can be expressed as can be expressed as a ratio a ratio means a fraction okay that's why it's called rational of integers in their simplest form in the simplest form okay so those integers can't be broken down anymore okay so so we can say let we can say therefore the cube root of 3 is equal to a over b where a and b are elements of the integers they are both integers okay now and they're in the simplest form they can't be breaking down anymore there's no common factors okay with with no of elements of the integers and we can say a and b have no common factor apart from one of course okay all right they have no common factor okay so now let's now show that this statement that we've written here leads to a contradiction which means that our statement that we made is false and therefore the original statement must be true. So what we're going to do first is we're going to cube both sides. So if I cube both sides, this becomes 3 and this becomes a cubed over b cubed. So therefore I can say 3b cubed is equal to a cubed. So therefore we know that um, we can say that 3 times b cubed okay, is a multiple of 3. For sure it's a multiple of 3. Okay, because it's three times an integer. Okay, so that means a cubed is a multiple of three as well. Is a multiple of three. And this is from our statement that we found before. Um, well, so a cubed is a multiple of three because a cubed is equal to three b cubed. All right, so if this is a multiple of three, then a cubed must be a multiple of three because a cubed is equal to three times an integer. Okay three times an integer now um, so if a cubed is multi if a cubed is a multiple of three then we know from our previous statement that means a is a multiple of three multiple of three as well okay so therefore we can say a is a multiple of three a is definitely a multiple of 3. Okay, so therefore we can say A is equal to 3 times K. Okay, A is equal to 3 times K. Okay, A is a multiple of 3, uh, where K is an integer. All right, so now, if A is a multiple of 3, then 3B cubed can be expressed as 3K cubed, because A is a multiple of 3 can be expressed as in terms of 3K, so then, therefore, we can say 3b cubed is equal to 27k cubed. So we can say b cubed is equal to 9k cubed, dividing by 3. So therefore, we can say that b cubed is 3 times 3 cubed, 3, uh, 3k cubed. Therefore, we can say that b cubed is also a multiple of 3 then, because it's 3 times an integer. So b cubed is a multiple of 3, and as we proved in the first in part A, if a cube number is a multiple of 3, then the number itself is also a multiple of 3. So therefore, B must be a multiple of 3. Multiple of 3. So there we have a contradiction. Okay, because they both have a factor of 3. So we can say A is like 3K, and you can say B is like, say, 3P, where P is an integer, Okay, so we can say that um, 
a over b is equal to 3k over 3p therefore not rational not rational because they have a common factor they share a common factor of, th of three they share a and b they share a common factor of three of three therefore um, the cube root of three is not rational so the also therefore the original statement is true the original statement must be true okay if it's not rational it's irrational must be true that the cube root of three is an irrational number is an irrational number okay uh, excuse my bad handwriting but that's like the way of this type of proof you can do this for the square root of two the square root of five the square root of seven any of these irrational numbers including the cube roots all right so we've proved by contradiction that the cube root of three is an irrational number and part of that proof or part of the proof for this proof is in the previous part where we showed that when you have something that's cubed as a multiple of three then the original number itself must also be a multiple of three okay so that that um, concludes this question and concludes this paper um, other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region here other questions from the um, topic of proof by contradiction from p4 in the playlist over here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch the video that will appear over here the link for it um, which will help you to find what you might be looking for in my playlists thank you for watching and see you soon